the top of the world, scientists are on a hunt for a one-of-a-kind time capsule. I decided to study the ocean because I fell in love with it. Branwyn Williams is an environmental scientist. She hopes to uncover what our oceans were like long ago. We don't know a lot about the ocean because in addition to it being really wide and covering our Earth from the tropics all the way up to the poles, it's also really deep. On average, about four kilometers deep. So there's a lot of parts of the ocean that we've never even seen before. Branwyn's mission took her on an adventure to the Arctic Circle. But what she needed was under the ice. We would saw holes in the ice for the diver to go down. We had a challenging time because water on his dive equipment would actually freeze. And so then he would have to come back up and we'd have to melt that before he'd go back down again. You don't actually get a lot of bottom time. You have about 20 minutes in a dive and they probably only do two dives a day. The time capsule they're searching for isn't man-made. It's built entirely of algae. We were a little concerned that we wouldn't find the algae. It was exploration, and you don't know what you're going to find. So we were thrilled when, on the second day of diving, we were able to find our algae. But how do coral and algae reveal the secret history of the ocean? For that, Branwyn heads back to her lab in sunny California. We cut the specimen in half using a saw. And then we can get an idea of what the growth pattern is and how old the specimen might be. Just like trees on land, plants and animals in the oceans capture changes in the environment in their skeletons. We can actually measure the growth each year in the algae, and that can give us an idea of how much sea ice there's been in the Arctic from year to year. So in years where it's warmer, there's less sea ice, and so there's more light being able to reach the algae on the seafloor. In years where it's cooler, there's more sea ice, and so there's less light reaching the seafloor. The wider the rings, the warmer the planet was that year. We can learn a lot from the organisms, from the plants and animals that live in the ocean. The sea anemones there. It's really amazing because these organisms, plants like the algae or animals like corals, they are actually growing and documenting changes in the environment. Branwen's hard work shows us how our climate has changed over hundreds of years and how people are causing that change. To me, a healthy ocean is an ocean that provides for everything that depends on it. For all the plants and animals that live in the ocean and all the things that live on the land that rely on the ocean. The changes that we're seeing in the climate, they're largely caused by people's activities. And what that means though, is if people are causing these changes in the climate, it means that we can do something about it.